Hey, what's going on guys? So today we are going to do some camera projection in uh, Cinema 4D. We're going to project out this soccer ball scene uh, with the ball, ground, uh, a background layer. We're probably not going to worry about this plant because it's pretty fuzzy and it's, uh, I haven't really cut it out very well. But what I've got here, uh, we have to separate out the foreground and background elements so that when we rotate around the scene we can see behind elements. So anything overlapping needs to be separated out. So what I've got is uh, the soccer ball, the plant, poorly cut out, so we're not going to worry about it. Uh, we've got the background, and we've got the ground here. Um, these are all as separate PNGs. So, let's go into Cinema 4D and get started. First thing we're going to do is create a new camera. We're going to call that camera Projection. And we're going to add a camera calibrator tag to it. So, right-click, go to Tracker Tags, Camera Calibrator. And in the calibrator, we're going to go into image and we're going to find our soccer ball image. And let's name this uh, background. And then in the calibrator, we go to calibrate and create background object. And that allows us to click off of it. And now we have an image in the background that we can look around. Um, so I'm going to look through my projection camera and I'm going to add in a, let's add in a cube, move that cube up. Let's go into full view mode and make sure that that cube is sitting on the ground plane. And then let's maneuver that around and have that sit right here on yeah, that looks pretty good on the ground as we see it here and everything looks like it's aligned pretty well so let's see how this works all right we'll get rid of this cube we will create a new camera we'll duplicate this camera and call it animation this is the camera that we're able to maneuver around. The projection camera, we're going to protect by going to rigging tags and putting a protection on. So now we can't move that camera around. So that's why we have the second camera that we can move if needed. Um, what I like to do is just throw a quick keyframe on that camera so that if we move it around, uh, we can always get back to where we were initially just by clicking on the timeline. And we're good to go. Okay, so let's bring out a new sphere. We'll map this ball and bring it up to the baseline, which it looks like it is. We're going to give it a little bit more resolution here. So segments, we'll bring that up to 48. And let's see if we can get this to match this ball here. That's looking pretty good. All right. So on this ball, we're going to create a new material and we're going to go into basic and deselect color and reflection and select luminance and alpha. Um, and in the luminance channel, we're going to bring in our soccer ball and in the alpha channel, we're going to bring in the exact same image here. And then we're going to apply it to the sphere. And it's going to look completely wonky because we need to go into the texture material tag. And down under projection, we select camera mapping. And then in the camera, we get the eyedropper and we select the projection camera. And there we go. And now there's two things we need to update. Uh, one is we need to go, it's, we're, we're getting all this uh, sort of uh, low resolution look, so we're going to go into our material, we'll go to viewport, texture preview size, and select no scaling. That clears up the resolution, now it's nice and crisp. And second, it's a little bit stretched from what it was. Um, so if we go into the projection uh, camera calibrator tag and go over to image, we'll see that the film aspect ratio of this particular image is 1.5. So we're going to copy that, go into our camera, our material tag, go into our film aspect ratio, and 
at 1.5 and now it's unstretched back to where it should be. So now if we go to our animation camera and look around, we should have a nicely projected ball. Um, it's off a little bit on the side so we can clear that up by just shifting it over slightly. Good, now it's open on the other side. So what we're going to do is just decrease the size of it just a bit. There we go. Now it looks much better. And obviously uh, you can't go too far around the sides or uh, the projection is going to break. So you got to kind of keep it from uh, mostly a frontal view. Okay, so now let's uh, next go and bring out a cube. That's going to be the ground layer or this kind of wall here. So let's bring that out and we will copy this material onto the cube. Um, however, we need to create a new material for that because there's no information there uh, where we need the ground material. So we're going to copy that. You know, let's label these. This is going to be soccer ball. This is going to be ground. And in the ground, we're going to do uh, in the luminance, grab the ground. Same for the alpha, grab the ground. And then we'll drag it onto the top of this material tag. And now we've got a nice ground. All right. Now I think this needs to be a little bit larger so that it actually sits on the ground. It's not going to be necessarily perfect because you got to account for uh, curvature of the camera lens. All right. That's pretty good. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off this background layer, and by turn off, I mean delete it, because we don't really need it anymore. We can see what we're doing, and now let's uh, throw out a plane for the background. Put a plane there, we're going to set it in the negative Z, and let's push it pretty far back here, let's see. That's probably pretty good. Make it larger. And we'll make a new material, call it background. And in the luminance, we can choose BG. And then the alpha will just turn off because we don't need it. And now the background, we're going to copy this material tag over to the background. Drop this on, and we've got the background layer. And we'll see as we maneuver around, um, we can get rid of that extra tiling by just going into the material and turn off tile. And we can do the same for the cube. Now it's easier to see what we're working with. And now we go to our animation and we sort of just, let's just do a little push in and move over. and add a keyframe. Now we've got this animation and it's all fully projected. All right. I hope that helps and thanks for watching.